All right, let's talk about some basketball stories. All right, what the hell is going on? It's like the the world flipped upside down overnight. So we got some bad news out here. Chris Paul has entered COVID-19 health and safety protocols. What? They're still testing? I didn't even know they were still testing. We're done. We just had a fireworks show in New York. I mean, we're done. The, the pandemic's over. Cuomo finally uh, lifted all the restrictions. There was fireworks going off all night last night. It's time to celebrate, baby. And the NBA is still testing. We're still testing for this. Why? Why? It's done. It's over. So this is not good. Now, the only good thing is that, you know, Chris Paul and company took care of business with the sweeps. We've got, uh, you know, some time to kind of get out of the protocols. I, but I think you do need at least 10 to 14 days, which is definitely not good. Now, the Clippers, um, the Clippers, um, let me see if I can get an official uh, start date on the next series. But but um, the Clippers and Jazz are in a tied 2-2 series. So potentially they can kind of just drag out the next couple of days, the next couple of games. And then by the time that the conference, the Western Conference champions start, uh, Chris Paul will be out of the health and safety protocol. So let's see if we can get a firm date on this. Game 7, if necessary, for the Clippers and Jazz will be June 20th. This just came out today, so that's four days and that's as far as we can go. That's as far as we can see. All righty. So we get anything else here? No scheduled games. So the 20th is the, is the final day of the Jazz Clippers series at maximum if it goes seven days. And then maybe you get two days off and then the conference championship starts. So that would be June 22nd, I would say, as early as the earliest of the Western Conference uh, Finals. Why do I keep saying Western Conference Championship game? The Western Conference Finals. So that is uh, six days. Chris Paul may miss the first two games. If you have to be out 10 to 14 days, that's not good. That's not good at all. Now, uh, they should still be competitive. Uh, without Chris Paul because Cameron Payne will fill in that role and we believe that he can definitely do that but he's definitely not going to do what Chris Paul does I mean we just read you the first round numbers or the second round numbers for Chris Paul it's like 25 points a game 15 assists on uh, or 42 assists total with only five turnovers I like Cameron Payne but he's not that he's not that but he could be serviceable and just rely on Devin Booker so this is not great. It's unfortunate. I mean, all these injuries. Now they're trying to mess with the 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 Suns here with Chris Paul. So hopefully he's good to go. Hopefully, you know, this isn't a blown out thing because, I mean, this is, always happens with Chris Paul. An injury in the playoffs. We get the health and safety protocols, and it's not looking out too good out here. So hopefully this is just a quick little non-story. Hopefully it goes away quick. Hopefully it doesn't have to be out 10 to 14 days because it'll probably miss the start of the Western Conference Finals. Not great. So that's story number one, but then we get this one right here. Not good either. Kawhi Leonard is out tonight, folks. What? Why? He just dunked on somebody, posterized somebody, and got the win in game number four to tie up the series 2-2. But Kawhi Leonard is expected to miss game five. He is officially out. Um, with a knee injury he suffered in game four, folks. Not great. And this Clippers team just tied it up 2-2 against the Jazz. And now, no Kawhi Leonard. Who's going to be that score? Who's going to be able to score on this Clippers team? We were struggling to find scores. They have good defense. Paul George has been good these last two games. But be besides Reggie Jackson and Paul George, can we rely on anybody? Marquis Morris? Marcus? Marcus? Marquise? I think it's Marcus. Marcus Morris, I mean, he had a great game four as well, but he's kind of streaky as a three-point shooter at the four. So they're going to definitely need a three that can score the ball, and I don't know if they got another score off that bench. So Kawhi being out for this Clippers team tonight, it's definitely going to be very bad, especially when they're on the road. They're going to have to rely on their defense big, big, big time. But once again, Kawhi Leonard was that great defender on their team as well. So this is not great. We'll see what the line is when we officially uh, – pick for this game but this is not looking good we got two star players out just just like that overnight no kind of lead up no kind of reports no rumors just you wake up today and the NBA has gone to all hell and not only had these two players um got injured and will not be playing 
injured slash health and safety protocols, we get coach firings today, folks. It was truly bizarre. So the first coach that is gone is Scott Brooks with the Wizards. They just could not agree on a contract, and he ends up walking. Now, we could probably say that Russell Westbrook will also leave because they have just been together. They were together for the Thunder, and then they both leave and go to the Wizards. So we can expect that uh, Russell Westbrook will not be a Wizard next year as well, and we'll see where Scott Brooks goes to coach because we can assume that Russell Westbrook will follow suit. They kind of, you know, they stick with each other. Unlike Kevin Durant and James Harden, who left, who left Russell Westbrook, Scott Brooks and Russell Westbrook, they will not leave each other. So we'll see where this kind of duo goes. And then the other coach that got fired, which is absolutely 1,000% deserved, is Stan Van Gundy got fired from the Pelicans head coaching job. And yes, definitely deserved so. How do you not at least make the play-in tournament? We're not even talking about a playoff spot. We're talking about a play-in tournament spot, one of the top 10 teams in, the, in your conference, and you don't even make that, folks? They finished 11th. They finished 11th at 31 and 41. Absolutely trash. Two games back of that 10th seed. Absolutely abysmal. End of the season on a four game losing streak. Four game losing streak. What? What? When you have a chance to potentially get the 10th seed, Spurs went on a four game losing streak. You went on a four game losing streak. I mean, you only needed to win like three out of those four last games to make the 10th seed to potentially get into the playoffs. And you could. Couldn't even do that? Trash! With Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, Steven Adams, and Lonzo Ball, you couldn't make a 10th seed? So absolutely deserved to be out of there. Um... The, the NBA has no tolerance of Zion Williamson not being in the playoffs. He's been in the league two years, not a playoffs performance yet, and they cannot wait to eat that story up. So, of course, Stan Van Gundy had to be fired, could not make it work, and now you got a lackluster, you got a you got a decent team, no head coach, no really great coach, uh, coach availability. I mean, we're talking about Jason Kidd and Karan Butler. Um, okay, unproven head coaches out here. So, we'll see. Who gets this um, Pelicans job? We know Lonzo doesn't even want to be there anymore, so we'll see where he goes, and uh, we'll see what they do for this Pelicans team. But Sam Van Gundy definitely had to be big out there, way underperforming here, only 31 wins. I don't care that it was his only season. I do not care. I do not care at all. <laughs> so, uh, Coaches firings, players out, injured. What the hell is going on in the NBA?